Let's just talk. Let's talk real quick about about the rat. Let's talk the rat boy because Brendan, you brought up there is this video of his is sort of like endorsement like a, interview with the New York Times yeah. in their like conference room yes. where like you know they sit around a table and then all the New York Times um uh like the, the New York Times I think bo- it's the opinion w- lanyards yeah, yeah. the opinion editors and yeah, writers the Bennett's yeah. boys the Bennett boys uh, did, did Michael Bennett get an interview with them by the way because that would have been weird talking to his brother about <laughs> endorsing him. <laughs> I I uh, don't know a lot about the context of the clip except for what you just said. It's the New York Times yeah. vet, vetting everybody, kind and of like one they by just one. yeah they they grill everyone. And this yeah. is like and Bernie did it last week when they literally oh. asked him like oh yeah they were, oh, they were like they were like hey, have you ever had your heart broken? Yep. And he was like what you mean personally? And they were like yeah. And he's like I'm not going to answer that. Like, that was embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was deeply. It was really it was really bad. Um, but yeah, let's just look at this. This one was way okay, better. So, uh, I was laughing about this, Matt. So All morning. Matt has, Matt hasn't seen this. Uh, we're gonna edit the uh, the actual the audio into this, but I'm just gonna play it for Matt right now. Wait, can we just set the scene? Yeah, yeah. I want to say yeah. You, okay, you, you so, set it up. So um, both for Matt, who's about to visually see it, but for you at home, in case you haven't, uh, Pete is uh, in the room with with the board, looking like a rat, and he is now questioned by this man who looks like Bob Balaban <laughs> uh, and talks like Bob Balaban uh, and is unrelenting. Against what is usually, um, I think, I think a media darling yeah. candidate. So he, he, yeah, he, he looks and talks like Bob, Bob, Bob Balaban. But Brendan, you pointed it out. His affect is exactly like Ash from Alien, when yes. it's just his like milk covered head yes. on a fucking table, <laughs> just going. Is the architect. I admire his. I admire its purity. <laughs> I won't lie to you about your chances, but you have my sympathies. He, he, he just is the is architect really in like, the Matrix. Yeah. He is an android, a righteous android in the face of Pete. All right, so just with that yeah. in mind. Okay. I hate to see robot on robot violence. You've been on the front lines of corporate downsizing. You've been on the front lines of corporate price fixing. You've been on the front <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. lines that's, that's, of, our, that's, of our misadventures. I'm sorry. That's... Of our misadventures in foreign policy. You've had direct experience of many of the things that make a lot of young people very angry about the way that this country... Uh, is operating right now, you don't seem to embody that anger. So the proposition that I've been on front lines of corporate price fixing is just to get we that. We did a swear! Oh, we did a cuss! Wait, 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 wait rewind, because his answer is, is what's great. You don't seem to embody that anger. So the proposition that I've been on front lines of corporate price fixing is just to get that out of the way. You um, worked for a company that was fixing bread prices. Uh, <laughs> no, I worked for a consulting company that had a client that may have been involved in <laughs> oh, fixing yeah, yeah. but it was apparently in a scandal. I was not aware of the Canadian uh, bread pricing scandal until last night. But do you Literally feel the night. anger that many young people feel about the state of this? Yeah, of course, because it destroyed my city. <laughs> I, I grew can, up. You can turn it off, Jared, because then he just, he just dissembles. But the, when it cuts back to him after that very robotic opening, he goes, uh, first of all, I just want to say that's bullshit. He goes, but he worked for a company that is <laughs> fixing bread prices. I mean, it was just so dead eyed at his weird accent. It's like yeah. he's talking in code. Yeah. Like in literal JavaScript. I do love the response. That's, excuse me, I was a consultant yes. for a company that may have fixed <laughs> yep. bread prices. But I just, I, I that's was, the guy to straight shooting people really love. I was watching that and it was just, what are you doing, Pete? <laughs> um, I'm trying you- to bring the country together with our shared values. I can't let you do that, Pete. <laughs> Pete, are you fixing bread prices again? <laughs> <laughs> just, un- I don't know why it made me laugh so hard, but it was just like, I don't know who that guy is, first of all. Yeah. I, I, I don't know like his writing or his role in the New York Times, but his performance there is so good. And uh, Pete, of course, that, I mean, it makes him look horrible. <sighs> with have been fixing the bread prices. <laughs> but, yes, but you work We're very, company. very angry. Yeah, you for fixing the yeah it's kind price. of Hannibal Lecter-ish <laughs> a little bit as well. It's Balaban, Lecter, <laughs> yeah. Ash. Android Ash. Yeah, yeah, it's wonderful. Hal. Yeah. Hal, yes, yes, yes. No. Dude, yeah. Who is that guy? He's crazy. He scares he's awesome. me. I love him. He's, he's terrifying. He's fucking scary, dude. But, but yeah, I, I yeah, want why, him. Why is your voice like that, dude? Like, I, I want him to be in an all-white suit explaining how Neo has to plug back into the code. <laughs> and, and, you know, like, no, yeah, they, they really get, they, they really nail Pete really hard. Ask him first question. What did Miggs yell at you? He hissed at you as you came into the office. What did he say? What's the most you've ever made by fixing bread? (laughs) Uh, You know, after that interview... Uh, there was at least one stray dog in New York City oh, yeah. that did yep. not make it through the night. Oh, yeah. No, no, oh, yeah. As Felix said, he went straight to the animal shelter <laughs> for, <laughs> a, for a kinetic situation. Yeah. He got real kinetic at, at a dog at a dog shelter. But yeah. that's that was so amazing is that, you know, we the obvious, 
usual punchline is Pete is a robot. He doesn't have a, a soul, but he looks more human in that one clip. In that one clip, he finally also, looks a little bit uh, in, in, relatable. In, the, in that actual interview in the extended thing in the New York Times, mm. he says that he was not aware that millennials are calling him Mayo Pete. On yes. <laughs> Are you aware of, of, of your nickname on Twitter? Oh, listen, I'd, I know it's a meme. I, I don't know. Like, you seem agitated, Pete. What's wrong? <laughs> don't you like the nickname? Yeah. Um, you come across Amy Kobakar in the desert. <laughs> She's struggling to get up. <laughs> Why aren't you helping her up, Pete? Oh, it's wonderful. 